guys asked for some more easy keto dinner recipes. So today I'm going to show you how to make one in the instant pot. We're going to be making keto Indian butter chicken, and we're going to pour that over a keto cilantro lime cauliflower rice. Let's get started. The best part about this recipe is that it can be made in less than 30 minutes, which is key for if you're a busy family and don't have a lot of time when you get home from work and your kids are hungry. As always, before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new recipe. We're gonna start by making our butter chicken in the Instant Pot. You wanna start by adding a tablespoon of ghee or butter to the liner of your Instant Pot and hit the saute button. Next, we're adding in about a pound and a half of diced up chicken thighs, along with a quarter cup of onions. I like using chicken thighs over chicken breasts and a lot of my keto cooking just because the chicken thighs have more fat in them and it provides more flavor, plus we get that fat macro. Cook this for a few minutes until it's softened, and then we're gonna add in our spices. Three cloves of minced garlic and one inch of ginger. And I like to use the garlic and ginger paste that come in the refrigerated section in your produce area of the grocery store. It's just a shortcut I've always used, and I don't really wanna mess with mincing up a bunch of garlic or grating some ginger, but feel free to use the fresh stuff because it will give a little bit more flavor. You wanna saute your chicken for around one to two minutes. So you just wanna get it browned on the outside. Don't worry about completely cooking it through because it will get cooked once the pot is under pressure. Next, we're gonna add in our spices. So I have two teaspoons of coriander along with two teaspoons of garam masala. Two teaspoons of turmeric, one teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. We're also gonna add in one cup of tomato sauce make sure you find one with the lowest sugar content and one can of coconut milk. You can choose to add the cream only or you can add the entire can. Just make sure when you do pick up your coconut milk that it's not the light version because that's gonna have more carbohydrates in it. Get the full fat coconut milk. Stir that all together to combine. And then we're gonna pressure cook this for six minutes. While our keto butter chicken is cooking, we're gonna move on to our cilantro lime cauliflower rice. In a large skillet, I'm gonna add around three cups of cauliflower rice. You could use just like a couple bags of the frozen stuff or one giant bag that you would find already pre-cut up at your grocery section in the produce area. And then add in a half a cup of chicken broth. You wanna cover it and steam it until the cauliflower is tender. It just takes a few minutes. Then we're gonna add a tablespoon of butter, three quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Saute that over medium high heat for around a couple minutes, just until a lot of the liquid has disappeared. Then reduce the heat to low and you're gonna add in the juice from one lime along with the zest from one lime. Two tablespoons of chopped cilantro, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, and then a quarter cup of coconut cream. So you could use the canned coconut milk and just only take out the cream part. Stir that to combine and then we're gonna let it simmer for around three to five minutes. Heading back over to our Indian butter chicken. Now it's time to release the pressure. So after it's cooked for six minutes under pressure cook function, you just wanna let it wait for a couple minutes to release pressure naturally, and then we'll hit the button so that all of the pressure gets released. And then to make this dish live up to its name, we're gonna add in two tablespoons of butter. Stir that in, and now you have keto butter chicken. I like to pour this over that cauliflower cilantro lime rice and it makes a delicious keto meal for you guys. You can 
actually freeze this too. So after you've cooked your butter chicken and your cauliflower rice, you can freeze them separately in freezer safe bags, put them in the freezer, store them for around like a month or so, and then you can take them out whenever you need to cook them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is an easy keto dinner recipe that your whole family is gonna love. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you guys get notified every time I post a new recipe.